Welcome to Jackson, Mississippi, the city with soul. Hello everyone, this is David Hoffman of David's Been Here. I just arrived in Mississippi, my 13th state in America. Over the next five days, I'm gonna be exploring Jackson, the capital. This is referred to as the city of soul. We're gonna be eating some barbecue, soul food, hearing some blues. I can't wait, let's go explore Jackson. In case you don't know where Mississippi is, Mississippi is a southern state in America that's bordered by Tennessee, Alabama, Arkansas, and Louisiana. They have a small coastline on the Gulf of Mexico. Right now, I just entered downtown Jackson and I'm staying at the Westin Jackson. It's right here in the center of downtown. It looks like an amazing hotel. Let's check in and get ready for lunch. We're gonna have some lunch here at the hotel. We're gonna have some seafood. I've heard so many good things of the food in this state. Let's go eat. <laughs> okay, so I love this hotel already. This room's amazing. I really haven't slept well in like two years, so every time I go on a trip, I sleep really, really well. <laughs> That's what happens when you become a father. And uh, yeah, this room is beautiful. Got a king size bed, TV. This bathroom is sick. Now let's go downstairs and meet with Jonathan from Visit Jackson. There we're gonna have some seafood for lunch. I'm super hungry today, I've eaten very little. Ready? I'm ready for Mississippi seafood. What's up, bro? Good How time, you doing? man. How you doing, Dave? Very good, you? Jonathan, yeah. Okay, to start off here in Mississippi, I'm going with Catfish here at Estelle Wine Bar and Bistro. That is the restaurant here at the Westin. Fried catfish with cheese grits. I think that's cheese grits. Yeah. Let me dive in here. Amazing. This is Delta Grind grits. So. Oh, wow, and that sauce. Mmm, tomato sauce. Dude, I love cheese grits. Mmm. It really has a different taste, catfish. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. This is delicious. Oh, it's amazing. Thank you. And I also got an IPA from Lucky Town Brewery. It's nice. Is it? Yeah. It's light. Sometimes IPAs are extremely hoppy. Mm -hmm. And then it's like overbearing, you know? Yeah. So next up I got duck sausage. Duck sausage. Never had it before. Typical Mississippi? Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you haven't had it. Yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Mm. Rounded with the grits, really good. Oh wow, it has like a nice little glaze sauce on it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mmm. That's how I make my decision with any fried thing. Like, like cornbread? It's a sweet potato cornbread, it's so good. Oh my god. And that's what I love about the South. You guys have a lot of sweeter this. Than, <laughs> sweeter than normal cornbread, it's so good. Mmm. Haven't added to that. Oh, it's so good? Mm. You got more? <laughs> you have like a, uh, I love the both, the catfish and the duck. With the cornbread, mm. the winner. Wow, that was an incredible lunch. The catfish was so delicious and the duck sausage, but for sure the cornbread took the cake. And what I gotta tell you is that there at the restaurant at the hotel, the chefs are putting a twist on Mississippi cuisine, making it a little more gourmet. It was really incredible. Man, the cornbread, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dream about that cornbread. It was so, so good. Next up, we're going to Malico Records. This is a record label here in Jackson that has been the home of various major blues and gospel acts. People like Johnny Taylor, Bobby Bland, ZZ Hill, and many more recorded their albums at this record label. We're gonna meet with one of the owners. He's gonna tell me a little bit of what soul music is all about. Let's go to Malico Records. Well, this is our 50th year in business. Uh, started here in late 67. Been right here on this spot where our buildings are new, thanks to a tornado in 2011. But uh, new office building, new studio, uh, and been open since then. We started uh, on a very meager basis back in the, in the 60s. Grew to be one of the biggest uh, soul gospel companies in the U.S. and had a pretty substantial Southern soul and rhythm and blues and, and blues artist roster for quite a long time. These are uh, certificates of Grammy nominations from 62 or 64, I think, of our artists. At the membership votes on songs submitted or projects submitted. The top five get to be uh, in the final vote, and whoever the number one is and that gets the Grammy. Um, out of the 64 or so we've got, I think we've got two. Uh, license, all these posters, we have songs licensed in, in these uh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, movies. Uh, some, most of them got a plaque by them telling what it is, uh, what the song is. Uh, Misty Blue, uh, Dorothy Moore, 
was in that movie. Uh -oh. oh, I thought you just loved the movies. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm messing with you. No, I saw so many movies up here. It's incredible. These tapes in here are on this particular row are the Savoy Gospel Masters. Uh, Savoy Gospel Masters on the next row over, Malico Masters on the row over there. Both uh, including quarter inch master tapes, two inch uh, original recording tapes, uh, multi tracks, some one inch tapes that were recorded earlier on, and these are, represent the master tape from which the LPs and cassettes and uh, eight tracks even were, were made uh, back then. Uh, so we're entering the studio now? Yes. Uh, when we first started, we had the studio and there weren't a couple of offices then. And as time progressed, the offices kind of grew up around the studio and just covered it up. So basically this is your, your wall of fame in a yep, way? Yeah, that's right. Yep. So all these artists came through these doors? Correct. Um, at one time or another, they were either signed to us or recorded quite a few of their so if you've seen the movie Get On Up, this is where Chadwick Boseman records a song. Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. Chadwick Boseman and about 20 little kids. Yeah, they were right here in this yep. studio. Was here. Incredible. Okay, that was awesome. I had no idea about this record label. And I learned so many things right now. The history here is incredible. Over 50 years of people coming in here recording music, Lots of blues, gospel, ring my bell. That's incredible, that song was recorded right here. Now we're off back to downtown and we're going to Holland Malls. I'll tell you more about it once we get there. Let's drive down these Mississippi streets. Mississippi reminds me a lot of Louisiana. Very similar in terms of the landscape. You know, lots of like marshland, same looking trees. Uh, streets, also lots of churches here. Very flat. Mississippi's cool. I like it. I've only been here a few hours, but I'm enjoying it so far. I uh, can't wait to eat some more food. Need some more seafood and barbecue. Right now, I'm walking around downtown Jackson and I'm walking over to Hal and Mouse. I'm gonna get a little tour of this famous restaurant and then after. I'm going to the Mayflower Cafe. They say they have some of the best food in town. It's a famous spot. And then after that, we're going back to Howlin' Mouth for Blues Night. You know, this is a city with soul, so we gotta get some music going. Now the music is gonna be off the chain tonight. I'm super excited. I haven't heard blues music live in my entire life. Hey. How you doing? Welcome to Jackson. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Howlin' Mouth. Howlin' Mouth, okay. <laughs> um, two brothers, Harold and Malcolm. So that's where it comes from that. Okay. Um, Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Neons are a staple, like Hallmark here. And people have done like paintings of them and pictures of them. And sometimes it's just them and everybody knows like, oh, that was done at Helen House. <laughs> awesome. Um, this building was uh, built back in 1927 and it was the old uh, depot for the GMO, GMO Railroad that went through here. And you can still see out back some of the, kind of where the, the train tracks were and stuff. Year, many years later it became Merchant's Food Store, so Merchant's who sold food to, you know, all the restaurants and stuff like that locally. But instead of, you know, it being delivered and things like, you know, it is now to each restaurant, people came here for that. So this oyster bar area was actually used to hang and dry the bananas for that. Um, obviously this did not necessarily look like this. This is where all the produce was, um, and so people, you know, would come in and, you know, get what they wanted, and I'm going to show you the numbers outside that are still there to this day of how they, you know, calculated that, and this is what you owed, and it's still there. And then it was vacant for a little bit, and then around the early 80s in 1983, um, Hal and Malcolm came together and, uh, got the building from the state, so it was still with, with, with the state, rented it to the state. And it's been here ever since. Hallam House officially opened in 1985. And to this day, I have been to New Orleans, and people might get mad at me for this. I, I love gumbo, I've tasted gumbo in numerous places, and it's all been great, but Hal White's gumbo recipe is the best gumbo I've ever had in my life, and still nothing can compare to that. <laughs> um, Hal passed away back in 2013, and now his uh, daughter and uh, ex-son-in-law help you know, run, run the kitchen, and his daughter uh, kind of runs the, the general day-to-day, -day, yeah, the, um, the management of it. About 12 years ago, um, since Hallam House was closed on Monday nights, 
um, they started using this venue for the uh, Blue Society, uh, Blue Mondays, um, that they have um, every week. Probably the coolest bathroom I've ever been. <laughs> this is cool. So we're about to enter the oldest established restaurant in downtown Jackson. It's called the Mayflower Cafe. It was established in 1935 by a Greek family. It's not Greek food, it's a mix of food, right? Yes, it does have the, that Greek influence though, and we're definitely gonna see that in the comeback sauce. Have you heard about comeback sauce? No, I have not. Oh my gosh! Well, you're just gonna make you wanna come back for it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're probably gonna do some seafood. This place does not sell alcohol, so we brought our own bottles of wine. Good stuff, I think. Look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> Got it. Okay, like we said, this place is famous for their seafood. We are starting with uh, the gumbo, so that's a seafood like soup, and then I'm going with the uh, redfish Orleans, which is basically a redfish is a type of fish uh, that's very local here in Mississippi. It's from the Gulf of Mexico, so it's light flaked. <laughs> We have soft shell crab. Okay, soft shell crab. I love soft shell crab. Oh, I just dive my teeth into her. <laughs> yeah, I'm fresh, okay. Come back, sauce. Mm. Well, like we said, everybody have, does have their own recipe that they don't like to share. It's a mayonnaise base. Mm -hmm. has to have some chili sauce in it. Um, more than likely, it's wow. half garlic. Yeah, I mean, I taste mayonnaise like crazy. Right. Which is the delicious part. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have the gumbo. Basically, you can find this in Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana. The sauce is like a roux. It's called roux. This one's like a light roux, so it's like, like a light red. Then there's darker ones, which are like really dark, which is Kalamal has. And uh, yeah, let's go into it. So it's basically, what else do we have here? We have rice, we have shrimp, some other vegetables. Okra. 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 Okay. Oh man, that's delicious. The shrimp. Mmm. I could like drink this. It's so good. So I got the redfish chains. Redfish, oysters, and shrimp. And I also got, oh, they're broiled? Okay, so they're broiled, and then, so what I'm gonna do with this guy, I'm gonna put him straight into the tar sauce. It's just the best tar sauce in Mississippi. Oh my god, amazing. It's like out of control. You wouldn't think Jackson has amazing seafood. This is amazing. <laughs> I mean, you're not on the coast, you know? For me, it's usually the coast is like seafood. Oh wow. Good thing there's no bones in this one. Mm -hmm. Last bite. Oh my god. Man, I'm gonna buy a jar of that tar sauce. Do they have that for sale? Yeah, well, I don't know. We're gonna ask them. No, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> the homemade the lemon icebox pie. It's a key lime pie with delicious whipped cream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, we gotta finish it though. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know again, but I will take another one. Mmm. That's good. <laughs> Food coma. <laughs> good dinner. Yeah. Great dinner. Thanks, y'all. Blue. We're back. We said we were coming back when it was getting all cranked up. It's gonna be good when you walk in. You'll you'll see it. Blues night. Blues Monday. Blues Monday. This is how we're ending the night. My name is Peggy Brown, and I am the marketing coordinator for the Central Mississippi Blues Society. And we are at Hall and Mel's tonight with Blue Monday, which is um, sponsored and produced by the Central Mississippi Blue Society. And Hall and Mel's is wonderful to be our in-kind sponsor for Blue Monday. And they provide the place at no cost, and they provide the security guard and the bartender. And so they are a wonderful partner for us to have for Blue Monday. Blue Monday is a weekly event on Monday nights, almost every Monday night of the year, except for the Monday after the St. Patty's Day Parade, and this place has to be closed then for them to clean up. But they allow us to be here every Monday night. And this has become a real international event. We have a lot of people that come through here, particularly in the spring and the summer and the fall, from many, many, many countries. They love the blues. The international people love the blues and maybe know more about the history of the blues and the artists that play it than even our Mississippians do. 
but this is a, a real important event in Jackson and um, we really need to get the word out more in Jackson. A lot of people still don't know about us and don't know what a cultural event this is and um, it's a wonderful mixing of ages, a mixing of races, and it comes together over the music and that's what the music is about. It brings everybody together. So we're delighted that we can do this um, at Hall and Mouse. We love them for being our sponsor, but um, we love the event. And it starts off with the core band doing a set, and then after that we have a sign-up sheet for visiting artists. So it's so much fun to have um, the guy that comes to us from Japan and knows the blues music and gets up and plays with the band and just smiles when he sits down. We have artists from Belgium, we've had artists from Spain, we've have, had artists from France that come and sit in with the band. So that's what it is. It's a cultural event um, and um, it's about the genre, the art form called the blues and we share it with Jackson, we share it with Mississippi and we get to share it with the world. Fun time. Blues, seafood. <laughs> oh, I'm good. I'm still, still. City with soul. <laughs> we had some soul tonight. Definitely <laughs> have some soul tonight. Call it done. <laughs> Guys, if you love this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel. <laughs>